and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about a bike as I ride around on the Lyric Graffiti I want to talk about another bike today I want to talk about the the Rostretto 512 first edition A20 so this bike has been was launched about a month ago it comes in four different colors and they were limiting it to 100 per color it comes in bronze green arctic and black i would prefer the black personally but uh and they were going to sell 100 of each i don't know where they are in their sales whether they've already sold them all or not but i wanted to talk a little bit about this bike because it does have some uh, pretty impressive st uh, uh, specs. So let's talk a little bit about this bike. It, first of all, it's an impressive looking bike. Uh, the first thing that catches my eye with this bike is that it's a mid-drive. Uh, the more I see the mid-drive motors and hear about them, the more I would like to uh, own a mid-drive myself, because I've never had a mid-drive. So uh, besides the mid-drive, the power of the motor, it's a 30, an impressive 3,500 watt motor that peaks at 4,500 watts. So. got some uh, power for sure in the torque uh, they say this bike has 250 Newton meters of torque comes with a 30 amp hour battery which is supposed to get you about 45 miles in throttle only and up to as much as 100 miles in pedal assist So the bike with all that power, it has two different modes. There's the street mode and there's the off-road mode. So the street mode is going to be up to a class three, 28 miles per hour. And the off-road is going to get you 40 miles per hour. And it does come with uh, full lights, including dual uh, bulb uh, headlight, tail light, brake light, and it does have signal lights as well. I do not know the weight of the bike, and I do not know what the controller is on the bike. I think it's their own controller that they're using but I don't know anything on the controller and it is a 21700 uh, Samsung uh, battery 30 amp hour the tires are 20 by 4 they're using mile high m20 ev tires and it does have hydraulic disc brakes the bike also comes in a 24 inch wheel size if you want that and that's additional cost for that so the bike 
is listed here at $3,800 and for the 20 uh, the 820 and the 824 which is basically the same bike with larger wheels is $4,200 So I'm thinking, not bad for $3,800, the, uh, the only thing that I would wish would be more would be the battery. I would like uh, maybe a 40 or even a 50 amp hour battery. I just think a 30 would eat pretty quickly, especially if you were just throttling only. But uh, it is an impressive looking bike. I will leave a link in the descriptions if you want to go take a look for yourself. Hard to find any videos on this bike, so I don't know. I don't know if anybody has uh, shipped them out besides the uh, prototype. There's a few videos on that, but I haven't seen. Uh, I don't think they're shipping them out yet. I couldn't find a whole lot of information on that. I think it did. I think I did see something about fourth quarter uh, shipping. Uh, so that would be sometime in the late summer or into fall. I should say fall and into winter. So I'll we'll have to keep an eye out on this bike. I'd like to uh, see some uh, video on the bike and see how it performs and see how others are finding the bike. But it sure is an interesting one. and. The price is up there, for sure. And like I say, the only the only thing that I question at all would be the battery size. But that's that's an awful lot of torque. 250 newton meters of torque. That's that's going to have some get up and go, I would think. But uh, if that had a, a little more, like I say, a little more uh, battery, I think that would be... pretty darn good. And even still at 30 amp hour, it might be fine, you know, um, how it is. But I can see that bike there, you know, I don't think you're going to be doing pedaling on that bike. I think you're going to be a throttler. Maybe that's just me, but I don't think that one's going to get a whole lot of pedal. If I had it, I'd probably be uh, pretty much throttling it. But yeah, I'll le leave a uh, link in the description and go ahead and leave a comment below on what you think of this bike. Do you think it's worth $3,800 or do you pass? I don't even know the shipping. I didn't notice whether they're charging to ship or not. So if there is a shipping charge, then that might be more pause for thought. But if it's free shipping, it might not be bad. Well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. Thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Getting a little talk in on another bike that's one of the intriguing ones to me. And hopefully it is uh, for you. And uh, like I say, I'll leave a link in the descriptions. Go check it out. And if you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you. And just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care